got my first real six string Bought it at the five and nine Hey, you know, Brian Adams, a Canadian songwriter, performer, um, really captured it all for musicians and young people when he wrote The Summer of 69. The song was recorded in 1985 and released in 1986 and was a hit single on his Reckless LP. Uh, there's some debate about whether the song is about what the 69 refers to, if you know what I mean, but his co-writer Jim Valance assures us that it was about the summer of 1969. In any event, it's about first love, first romance, first get-togethers with a girl, and first guitars. Everything we love. Here's Brian Adams, The Summer of 69. All right, well, let's begin with the uh, chord, chords or chord formations that we need for Summer of 69. First of all, we need an open D chord formation. And we need an open A. And we're going to play with those and, and, and do some things with those two chords. But you, to start out, we need the open D and the open A. And I'm actually I should show you that the open A you're going to play with the three finger method instead of the flattened, which is I'm very much used to. We're going to play the one, two, three finger method for this one, for this song. We also need a B minor, an open G, and then we're going to need a bar F bar B flat and a bar C. And those are the chords you need for Summer of 69. Well, let's show you that staccato, plucky kind of style that he uses uh, for the intro. It's basically just a D and an A chord, but it's played like this. What I'm doing there really is just picking down, I'm muting a little bit with the heel of my hand, but I'm picking down on the fourth and third strings. The two down picks are on the fourth and third. This is just the fourth. It's back and forth between the uh, fifth and fourth strings for the A chord. And notice how it's... Hear that little full chord in there? Here it comes. Okay, that's the intro. Once the second verse starts and we get into that D and A chord, by the way, it's uh And no use in complaining when you got a job to do. So you can still uh but you know it's not it's not separated like that. So you're still Okay. Okay, let's take a look at that other chord progression, which is uh, this part. Ah, but when I look back now, that summer seemed to last forever. So we've got a B minor, an A, a D, and a G. And here's something that uh, Brian Adams did here, and I think a lot of good songwriters do this in a rock song, is for all four chords, they keep one note constant. And the note I'm hearing there is the D note. So the B minor has a D note in it. We don't have to worry about that. The A chord doesn't, so what we're going to do is change it to an A sus. All we're doing there is just taking the normal A chord, and I use my, you can use your second or third finger, I use my third, to play the D note on the second string. The D chord obviously has a D note in it. And then the G chord doesn't either, so we're going to make it a power G. And to do that, I'm just going to take my pinky finger, which is normally on the third fret, on the G note, on the first string, and I'm going to put it up on that D note that we want, and then flatten it out to get both the D and the G note. Power G chord. 
So again, the four chords are B minor. <laughs> Basically it is B minor, A, D, and G, but we've just modified the A chord to make it an A sus and the G chord to make it power G, and that gets that. I'm a winner, look back now. That sun has seen the last forever. That note rings through all four chords. Okay, we've already talked a little bit about what the right hand here is doing during the uh, the verse, the second and third verses for the D-A. So it's a nice full strum and, and sustain and hold it with the D and the A chords. For this other part, I think something like this will work. So it's and that covers the strumming for that part of the song. Okay, a couple of little things to show you uh, before we venture into the full song. And the first thing is this keyboard riff that we're going to play in guitar here, which is. Uh, Okay, and that's accomplished like so. Uh, we're going to remove our second finger from the D chord off the first string and strum it without that with the open E string. And then we're going to strum a regular D chord, put it back on. And then we're going to flatten out the third finger to play the G note on the first string. And then regular again. And then open again. And then regular again. So it's Here's what's being played. And the other fingers don't move. For the A formation, and this is why we had to use the one, two, three, we're going to lift off that third finger, add the pinky on the uh, D note of the second string. So it's open, second, third, second, open, second. that riff. Alright, the very last thing you need to know are these power chords uh, during the bridge section of the song, and this is the, I'm going to sing an octave lower here. When we were killing time, we were young and restless, and needed to unwind. I guess nothing could last forever. So again, those power chords are F, it's just F, B flat, C, back to B flat. Stay on the C. show you quickly what the right hand's doing there, but you probably heard it. Okay, there's the bridge section. All right, it's time to rock and roll here. So what we're going to do is play through the intro, verse, chorus, uh, second verse, and uh, we'll do that little bridge part. Well, that's a lot of the songs. So here we go. I got my first 
three little fine tuning points for you. First of all, uh, you realize, uh, you probably caught it, that I... Uh... I got my first... That's where the song should begin as far as vocals go. I'm so used to extending that one more bar just to allow dance floor people to get up because they recognize the intro and it just gives them a moment to, oh, Summer 69, let's dance. So it's uh, what I did there was... Got my first real six string. Okay. Uh, second thing is um, one way to end the song is to uh, get back to this. That's how we end it. Three hits on the A chord as a as a group. And finally and the fine-tuning mode here. Um, you can, if you want to get a little picky here, pardon the pun, pick through that uh, little um, arpeggio part. Okay. And same thing with the A chord. That's how the keyboard kind of plays it in between verses there. All right, I've given you everything. There's Summer of 69, Brian Adams. We'll see you next time.